Kelsey of Ice Dragon Cosplay and welcome to episode 2 of Wig Wonders! Hey. So as promised, this week, well this month on Wig Wonders, I am doing Ariel's wig. So if you haven't seen episode 1, you really should go check it out because that's how I go over how to do wefting, like how to add more hair in, etc. Because for this tutorial, I actually took two wigs and I pretty much spliced them together to get it a bit thicker. But I skip over that because if I didn't skip over that, each of my tutorials would be twice as long as they needed to be. So if you need to do, you know, anything about wefting, go check out episode one. And I got a link there. So I don't have a lot to really say about this wig. Except, um, I know there are definitely different things I could have done. Um, the main thing I focused on was the bangs. And giving the wig a bit of poof. Like more body and such. So this project cost me... This was about a $22 wig. Because I bought both wigs for about $10. So... I, of course, assuming that you already own a good amount of supplies that you need to style wigs. So I'm not going to put that into the price. So without further ado, let's just get right into the tutorial. Okay, everyone. So this is my base wig. I have added about 8 to 10 wefts into it from another wig that was just like it. I basically just bought two wigs which I kind of just explained to you guys. So it looks a bit damp and the reason it looks like that is because I've sprayed it down with mane and tail detangler or it, I actually made my own solution which is just the conditioner, water down and hot water. So you're gonna need your rollers. Make sure that if you get the rollers that have the bristles in the center, take those out. That will ruin everything. Other than that, you're going to need your T-pins or your hat pins, whichever you prefer. I like to get the pearl-headed hat pins because I find that they're easier to see than the T-pins. And now, I sectioned off the lower half, well, not the lower half, but the lower tier, and I roll it, and I'm going to use the T-pins to punch it into my styrofoam head. You need about two basically one on either side of your hair and that's going to help the hair not fall out of the roller so you can see I kind of started not right at the bottom but like a little not quite halfway up either just enough so I can start the roll and then continue on rolling if you do it at the bottom you will get so frustrated because it's just going to slide out because it's not real hair and it has nothing to grip to so that's just, just a little below halfway point. Now you can skip this step if you don't want to have like slightly wavy hair. The reason I'm doing this is because I want her hair to have a lot of body. And as you saw, the wig doesn't have a good amount of body. The best way to section off your hair is kind of just looking where the wefts fall naturally and just using that to part it. You don't want it too much on a roll or else it's just going to be a mess. So let's speed this up and get the rest of the wig done. And don't feel bad if this takes you a few times. Um, I am of course no like hairstylist or wig extraordinaire stylist at this point. And it's all still very new to me, but I just hope that doing these videos and tutorials will not only help me learn, but maybe pass on some of the knowledge that I have gathered and kind of help people figure out how to do their own wigs. And of course I'm picking specific characters because, well, just going to be easier to find and, and I have not seen much out for specific characters so I thought it'd be nice to like really focus on people's hairdos. 
The reason I like using the styrofoam head, and I have gotten a wig block, it just, I don't know, like, I haven't gotten used to using it. Um, but I like the styrofoam head because as you saw, I was just punching my teeth in. So. Now for the bangs, I want to curl all my bangs to the right because that's the way Ariel's hair is. And this is going to be a really big important step because I need to have it all wanting to go right. And I also need it to be curled so I have some body to work with. And of course, short hair is always going to be easier to work with. So right now you're thinking, oh, the bangs are the easy part. No, they will not be the easy part of this week tutorial. <laughs> In many ways, this is even kind of how you get uh, victory rolls. You have to curl that hair in the way you want your roll to go. So, The main thing here with the bangs is too, you want to curl it so that you're not getting bald spots. Which, um, this wig's pretty good. So I got my trusted steamer. And I have it uh, filled up with water. Then you're going to want a white bag. Uh, I would suggest a white garbage bag. I know I've seen some people using like Walmart bags, Fred Meyer bags, whatever. I don't suggest doing that because I have heard that the ink can come off onto the wig. So let's stick with white garbage bags. And I'm just gonna slowly rotate it around with my steamer under the bag and um, just making sure that it's equally getting the steam everywhere. Basically, I steam it until my water's all gone, or almost all gone. Now, in truth, you should leave it for a day or two if you can. But, whatever. <laughs> I was in a rush, so I'm going to kind of force it to dry. So I get my Frozen Stiff from Beyond the Zone, which is my personal favorite hairspray. And I'm just going to give it a light coat, and then I'm going to kind of blow dry it to harden the hairspray onto it. And that's just gonna make the curl set all that much better. Like I said, do not cake your wig with hairspray or uh, just, just a light spray. And now we're gonna see and check the first curl. I always start with an under one, obviously. Start from down, go up. Here's what it looks like undone. It looks a bit scraggly, so I usually Get my bristle brush and just brush out the curl. And you're gonna do this for each one. And already it looks so much better because you you kind of you've worked that kink into itself so it's not like noodle scraggling. So go ahead and just keep on doing each curl. Like I said, start down, work. Up. I usually run my fingers through it before I do the bristle brush too, just to separate the curl out. I mean, I don't think you have to, but I, don't, but I just personally do it. I'm not cutting the wig there. I actually found out that I had a thread left over from where I had sewn one of my wefts in. Oopsies! <laughs> Amazingly enough, I think this would probably classify as my favorite part of doing the wig. Like, kind of getting to see all the curls coming out and how pretty they look. And um, just brushing it. I don't know. For me, it's my favorite part because it's just not that stressful. Uh, I haven't really had any major flaws yet where it's like, Oh, God! What happened there? So, um... I'm sure I'll be eating my words later and have like some horrendous, horrible, curly incident, but I don't know, I just like it. And you can already see, like, look at that, that's just one layer. Look how much thicker the wig looks. And it's already kind of cutting the shine. Now, I didn't do it to this wig, but to cut the shine, you should definitely use some dry shampoo on it. I should have. Now, as you notice with that curl, it was still a bit damp, so you can 
definitely just blow dry it a little bit. Or you could do the proper thing and just wait a few days for it to dry naturally. But I just, I'm loving how gorgeous that looks. And it has actually cut the shine quite a bit using that product on it and brushing everything through, so. So now we're going to just kind of clip it away. Because we're going to get to the hard part of the wig. <laughs> the bangs. So as everyone knows, Ariel's iconic hair is her bangs. So I'm blow drying it. I you didn't see, but I actually put a little bit of more hairspray on it. Um, and now we're just gonna undo each one. Same thing going down. Uh, this time though, I'm not brushing them out. I'm just gonna release them. And you're gonna have to be really patient when you're doing her bangs. As you can see, I was working on them for a really long time, and you're gonna see that later. But I just kind of want to show you the basics of how to get the oomph and the shape. So right now she looks like a bit of a curly mess. That's okay. It's okay. Don't panic. The biggest lesson I learned so far about styling wigs is you just can't be afraid of them. And that's why I took so long to do anything with wigs. And then I'm like, you know, I gotta up my cosplay game. I gotta stop being afraid of wigs. <laughs> And that's the main thing here is I really want to help people, like, you know, show people you can take a cheap wig and make it look decent. You can, you can mold that cheap wig into something gorgeously beautiful, or at least mildly acceptable for cosplay. Because <laughs> I think that was what always held me back, because I was like, well, if I spend all this money on a really expensive wig, oh, what if I ruin it when I'm, you know playing with it and trying to style it and that's why I want to show you guys how to do cheap wigs so here I'm lifting up the curls and I am teasing them at this time I couldn't find my proper teasing comb but that was okay <laughs> I just went with my regular comb now you're gonna want to leave some unteased because you want that to be the one you know, the, the nice hair that goes over it, and that's going to be that part. So I just kind of push it aside. I'm going to take my large comb section, no, wait, I mean my bristle brush, and just start brushing it down again. Now the reason I teased it was just to give it, yet again, more fluff, bigger volume. And you can tease any part of a wig, really. I thought it'd be really hard. It's not. Just make sure you have and plan some of that hair to not be teased. So that that hair can go over it and make it look pretty. And you're hiding all the teasy part. Really, from here, it's now just kind of working it into a shape that I'm okay with. And trying to get that swoop in her hair. See, now I've got more volume. I've kind of calmed down the curls a bit, but it still looks smooth. It looks nice. Main thing, too, is I'm trying to cover up this bald spot. You'll see, I. I <laughs> and keep my bobby pins handy. You'll see why. <laughs> so, really, at this point, just play and play with those bangs until you get the nice shape that you want. If you ever find that you think your bangs are getting too flat again, you can go ahead and tease them up a bit more. Just make sure you're leaving everything so it's got a smooth bit of hair to go over it. As you can see, the ends are definitely the most scraggliest part. I'm kind of trying to figure out how to hide them in a good way. Hers swoop out really weird, and I was really struggling with that. So, what I ended up doing, and you'll see later, is I actually take those ends and curl them under. 
And the reason I found that to be the best way to deal with the ends is because it naturally keeps that hair poofed up too. I can't really give much more advice other than be patient. Have a picture of her so you can see kind of what you're going for. And just, you know, use your bristle brush. So once you light the shape, you're going to put your bobby pins in to hold the shape. I actually don't end up sticking with this shape. I end up playing around with it a bit more. I decided to move that piece of hair that just was too short onto the other side. Like I said, I spent quite a long time playing with the bang. Okay, so I finally, finally settled on the shape that I wanted. So, as you can see, I mainly wanted to have that, like, grit arch that was coming off. And then here I'm trying to show you how I curve the ends under to, like, get that loop curled and hold up the arch. And I'm just going to take my bobby pins I'm going to pin that curl into place. I'm going to pin... See how I got that arch? It's, I'm sorry, it's like really hard to see. But. So just use your bobby pins to kind of get everything sorted because the next step is going to be doing your hairspray to hold the shape. Which is why it's really important with the bobby pins because if you just spray on your hairspray the weight of the hairspray could destroy everything that you've just done. So remember how I said I was really irritated by that hair? As you can see, I decided to just give up on it and put it down the other side of my face. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta give in to the willpower of the wig. <laughs> and, you know, these are cartoon characters we're talking about, so... I can only defy gravity so much. But I'm really happy with how I've gotten the poof of the bangs away from my face, so. All right. So now I take my frozen stiff hairspray again, and I do a light layer on top, and then a layer underneath that arch so that it holds still. Now this time you're going to use a lot more hairspray than when I was doing the curls because you want this sucker to stay. And just very, very lightly you can dry it with a blow dryer, but be very careful. Don't go and blow it all out of place. If you want just let it sit on its own if you have more time than I do. And I will say like I went out to a very windy place for my photo shoot for Ariel and uh, this hairspray stayed really good like really good. The wig didn't get destroyed until I dropped it in my car. <sighs> yeah that was fun. <laughs> but yeah um, so if you have like these weird parts just get a bit of hairspray on your finger and soak that like bit and bobby pin it into place to get it out of the way. It was just very short is what it was. It was like stubborn one inch hair <laughs> and I didn't want to go with the rest. Alright, so you certainly don't need to do this part if you're doing like mermaid Ariel or I, I don't even think like Princess Pink dress Ariel. 
has her hair this way. I think it's only like the kiss the girl scene. So I've gone and made my blue hair bow, which if you want to see how I made it, I go ahead and check out my Lolita hair bow tutorial because it's literally the same exact pattern. And that's how I made her hair bow for the kiss the girl outfit. Um, so her hair for that obviously is supposed to have some of it pulled back into the bow. Since we are working with a wig, I'm only grabbing, as you can see, very small strands in the front because I don't want bald spots. And I think, like, I'd say they're probably like, you know, two inch wide strands of even that. You don't need a lot of hair. Um, actually, because we've done that curling to this hair, it's made the wig rather grippy and it, it's going to hold the bow in quite nicely. I didn't have any problems with the bow at all because me curling the hair gave it more texture and that gives the barrette more well texture to grab onto. <laughs> As you can see I didn't like that section so I'm resectioning it out. So this way we give the illusion that my hair is pulled that back a bit into the bow but I'm not actually pulling that much back so we don't have any ugly bald spots. Same thing as with the bangs, you kind of just gonna have to work with it a bit and figure out how low or high you want your bow. Kind of the first time I end up putting my bow too low. I'm also grabbing some of the hair in the back. The hardest part was making sure I had it centered, but... This is your first time, I'm like, eh, I don't really like it. It's not centered. It's too low, so... Take the bow out and pull it up a bit more to recenter it. Just play with it. Your curls aren't going to die while you're doing this. And I like it. I like it. Ta da! So, yeah, check out my Lolita hair bow tutorial if you want to know how to make her bow. Oh, she's coming together pretty nice, actually. Like I said, I know that there are definitely many other ways you could do Ariel's hair, but this was the way I chose to do it, and so now everything's set, and you just very carefully take out your bobby pins, and probably go wash them, because they are caked in hairspray. <laughs> the steps just kind of be gentle with it. And here's how she turned out. And I was super happy with it. And I really enjoyed making this wig. So. So I wanted to just show you guys a comparison of the wigs. So here's hers obviously. $22 wig or whatever. Now this is actually a lace front wig. I use it for my Phoenix one and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love that lace front wig. But I just wanted to show you in comparison because this is a that lace front is pretty thick. So it actually holds up pretty good. Now the green wig has no added wefts and it's what the red wig started out looking like. You can't really see it, but I was showing you there's a lot of bald spots in it. So it's quite a big difference from the green one to the red one. Um Obviously the red wig didn't start out green colored, but you can definitely see there's a thickness difference and a shiny difference. Alright everyone, I hope that you found that tutorial somewhat helpful, or informative at least. So, hi. <laughs> so if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will answer it to the best of my abilities. Um, so yeah. and. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and you want to see more Wig Wonders. It comes out the third week of every month. I try to get it on a Wednesday, but sometimes it's just not doable for me. I'll definitely have it on Fridays, though.